Douglas Block. Welcome to your Depression Recovery Channel, where each week we talk about practical tools and coping strategies for healing from depression and anxiety. In a previous video on electroconvulsive therapy, or ECT, I talked about how inducing a grand mal seizure in the brain somehow reboots the brain and brings people out of a deep depression. Based on the popularity of that video, there seems to be a lot of interest in directly impacting the brain through affecting its electrical system, and that's what we're going to talk about now. TMS is an FDA-approved procedure that uses a powerful magnet to deliver an electrical jolt to the brain in the same manner as ECT. Scientists believe that this technique works like a heart defibrillator. The voltage that goes into the brain causes all of the neurons to fire at once, and this causes a change in the rate at which the brain releases its various neurotransmitters. In order to show you how TMS is delivered, I'm going to read from a brochure given to me by the manufacturer of one of the devices that are used. It says that a TMS device delivers a, a rapid electrical pulse to the brain for four seconds, followed by a 26 second break. The pulse is directed to the prefrontal cortex area, which is very instrumental in regulating mood. When the pulse hits, it feels like a light tapping on the head. Although there is some pressure, there is no pain. And unlike ECT, there is no anesthesia or sedation that is required. The treatment is done in a doctor's office, lasts about 45 minutes, and happens every day for four to six weeks until the patient notices some improvement, or in some cases, a complete remission. Because TMS is not as invasive as ECT and doesn't involve inducing a seizure in the brain, its side effects are much milder. This is its main advantage. Specifically, there are no instances of memory loss, like you hear about in ECT. Uh, people remember very clearly what happened, and not a whole lot. Uh, the most painful sensations are little uh, irritations on the scalp where the device is, uh, is inducing the, the, the shock or the, the current, and sometimes there are headaches, but these usually pass within a couple of weeks. In clinical trials, a number of people who have failed to improve using medication and other therapies have improved with TMS. In one randomized clinical trial, twice as many people who had TMS got better compared to the control group. And in my own practice, one of my clients went down to Corvallis, Oregon, where it's uh, being practiced, uh, did it five days for uh, three or four weeks, came back, and was about 20% better. Uh, that may not seem a lot, 20%, but when he was in the hell of a suicidal depression, just getting out of that bottom was really useful, and that's what jump-started his recovery. So I would recommend TMS to anyone who can have access to it. Because it has recently been approved by the FDA, TMS is no longer an experimental therapy. That means it's gaining in popularity. Specifically, it's being practiced at two main hospitals in America, Johns Hopkins and the Mayo Clinic. In terms of Portland, where I live, it's actually offered by the Kaiser system, and down in Corvallis, there's a clinic that offers it there. I would check in your area uh, and the major hospitals and the mental health agencies to see if TMS is available where you live. In conclusion, TMS is a new non-invasive treatment that uses magnetism to heal the brain. Like ECT, TMS will probably be used to jumpstart the brain when other therapies have failed. But because it is so mild, it won't have to be the method of last resort as ECT is, and we'll probably see it used more and more and more to treat all sorts of depressions. This has been Douglas Block. I hope you've learned something from the video. This is a very exciting new procedure that's sweeping, I wouldn't say it's sweeping the country, but it's becoming more used. And until we meet again, uh, I wish you the best in your mental health recovery. And by the way, if you want to learn more about this work, just click on the, the credits at the end of this uh, video and you'll see my website and the ability to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.